Today we're going to practice scheduling a couple of items as if this was a typical week where you're scheduling a bunch of tasks that you haven't put onto a calendar yet. A lot of students wonder about how to go about doing this, so that's what we're going to practice today. To do that, you'll see that I gave myself a list of tasks. None of these are actually real tasks, I just made them up, but we're going to, for the sake of this exercise, pretend like these are real things that I have to put on a calendar, but maybe I haven't done that yet. The first thing is ideally when you have tasks, you want to write them down and you want to schedule them as they come up. Meaning that I think a lot of people have a tendency to think to themselves, oh, I'll remember to do this later. And a lot of the time what'll happen is you actually don't remember to do them. So the first tip that I'll give you is when you have to put something into your calendar or when somebody says, let's say that you have a physics test on September the 7th at 2 p.m. Put that into your calendar right away or write it down somewhere where you're going to remember it and then make sure to come back to it and actually put it into your calendar later. You don't want to get into a habit of forgetting, basically. So let's start with the first item. I have here a dentist appointment, uh, September the 5th at 11 a.m. So let's put that on the calendar. So this is September the 5th, right, at 11 a.m. And it might be a little boring, but it's not that bad. So let's say dentist appointment at Dr. Toothy. And I like to give myself at least an hour or something like that. It's important. Depending on the color, you can choose lots of different colors. In this particular case, I'm going to put it as flamingo, nice and easy to remember. You can actually add notifications, so for example, if you want to remember it an hour before, you can, five minutes before, you can. You can even set up multiple if you know you're going to forget, but for our purposes, I'm going to just do 30 minutes before. All right, perfect. And after that, you can do physics test, September the 7th at 2 p.m.
If you've come this far, congratulations. Leave me a note in the comments about your favorite study spot. And I also think it's really important to remember that just because it works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. We are all different, we all have different goals, and we all have different learning styles. So it's up to us to figure out what works best and take the right actions from there. Something else that I want to remember is that it might feel like you're missing out, especially if your friends are out at a party while you're sitting in the library. But when I'm working towards my goals and my dreams, I like to think that there is nothing that I'm missing out on. If you've made it this far, kudos, congratulations. The only thing left is to go and do.